Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another game recap. Going to be rolling with the Titans, uh, uh, Tennessee Titans as my playbook. And I got a couple of formations I'm going to be using primarily in this scheme. I'm going to be rolling against uh, a guy running using New England Patriots. And uh, he's got um, a custom playbook or use a lot of uh, the same plays. And this guy was running a lot of cover four, uh, drop cover four type defenses, uh, so he was staying in it. And it was actually giving me some problems initially. So uh, I just jumped into this playbook, and I, I didn't really lab anything online. Um, labbed a little bit uh, just to kind of understand some of my reads. And right here, I go ahead and drop it down to the running back and actually go right out of bounds and actually only pick up two yards. So a third and eight type of situation. I go ahead, uh, switch into my hot audible, which is the drag wheel right here. And right here, actually, I think Emmanuel blitzes me right here and actually sacks me. And like an idiot, like an idiot, I go ahead and, and hurt, no huddle in a fourth down situation and uh, obviously come up short. This That decision right there is going to haunt me the entire game. It's going to haunt me the entire game, and you're going to see on how you never, never do a boneheaded play like that. You never give a ball back to somebody with a short yard and, and distance uh, when uh, when the game first starts off. You need him to earn his yards so you can pick up his tendencies because it's going to make a huge night and day difference. So just that quick, in a matter of two and a half minutes, he's already up on a score on me by seven to nothing. And you're going to realize how that's the that seven points is huge in this game. So uh, going back to uh, the gun wing slide offset, uh, jump into um, a, a different formation, which is uh, basically the single back uh, wing uh, wing formation slot. Um, and I'm going to just try to go ahead and do a little off uh, uh, a little run off the off the side right here, and I'm actually get a nice little. Uh, uh, run lane right there and I go pick a first down so go back and I actually no huddled him right here and I go into a play action cross shot type play and right here what I like about it just missed miss the sack right there but I'm able to go and drop a dot right there with, with Trubisky to get the ball down uh, some yards right there so second and eight type of situation I'm, I'm sprinkling in this scheme this little um, uh, route, which essentially is a play-action uh, jailbreak scheme, it's just very effective. So, third and seven, uh, seven situation. Um, I, I was experimenting with this particular play uh, out of the uh, the tray formation, the open tray formation. I'm looking for the flat route with the running back. As you can see, there's defenders blanking up in the area. I had no second progression, so um, I get rid of the ball right there, and I actually settle for three points, which is okay. I, you know, uh, three points is fine. I really haven't seen this guy's offense too much. So jump into cover two right here. He does a little crossing right there. He throws it right towards me, and the guy drops the ball in a third and three situ situation, but he goes for it on fourth and three in his territory, basically making the same bonehead play that I basically did with a minute and 50 seconds left. Not very smart play right there. So I come with a pressure right there, and Jackson's able to come up with the ball and take the ball down into the 40. So I probably would have got a little bit better yardage if I actually smacked the ball down, but he gets it down to the 40-yard line. So minute 50 uh, uh, on the clock right here. Do a little stretch play off to the left. I get really good seal blocking right there. Take it down to the uh, past the 31-yard line. So a third and two situation right here. I actually go ahead, do a little uh, off tackle inside run, get it down to the 20-yard line. He actually takes the timeout. So I just settle, settle for the three points, and I totally shank the kick. Off to the right, I completely missed it. I should have let the, let the play delay. So, going to the second half, uh, he's getting the ball back. He does a little inside run. That was basically his run the entire game. Was the inside run uh, out of these shotgun formations. So, cover two, uh, big deep blue, and I spied up one of my defensive uh, tackles right here. And actually, he's looking for the crossing route and actually hits a, 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 a mesh concept on the back inside. So, good read right there. Uh, back once again uh, to the crossing routes. Uh, he actually hits a nice dot right here. I had a defender in the area but completely missed it. So go back to uh, the Sting Bench Blitz and a second and two type of situation right here. And uh, he actually picks it up, but I get I get an inside uh, block shed by number 90, which is uh, Goldman. So he goes into strong close right here. So you know what, what he's going to do. I've got a deep lose to take away the crossing route. And I'm trying to get out to the far end right, right side. And actually throws it into my passing lane, but gets it right past Lloyd. He actually gets a nice little completion right there. So it's second and seven type of situation. Once again, going with cover two, just giving him trying a different look. He throws right to me. So my user was really off. It mean, always is off, you guys. You if you follow my channel, I don't really have great user skills. I usually out scheme my opponent. So back to uh, the, the Sting Pitch Blitz right here. 
and he, he, I'm trying to think with a crossing route right there, and actually go ahead and tackle him right on the one-yard line. So this guy was running inside zone, so all I had to do is just shift my line, crash him off the left-hand side. I was going to take away his running lanes. Right here he tries to go far outside. I've actually My linebacker actually stops him. And he knows huddles in this play again, and he takes off with Tom Brady. He tries to make a run for it, but I've got defenders in the area, and right there I'm able to go and, and stop him short. And he settles for three points. So three minutes and 43 seconds left. Uh, in the game, I'm only down by seven points. I, I missed a, a, a field goal, and I also um, basically gave him a short field in the very first possession. So but back to the play-action crosser right here. Defender actually floats up, but Trubisky puts another dot right there on the sideline to get me a, a nice first down. So third and five type of situation, and this is the play of the game basically with, with Trubisky um, with this particular play. So I'm doing a, a, the, the shot play with deep shots across the middle. X is, is what I'm looking for, and as you can see, the defender falls up, and he actually catches the ball right in bounds, feet down, down by a, a, a third and goal situation. So third and goal, I come into um, the spot play and put my backside receivers on a uh, wheel, and it's, it's right there. And you can see the spot is just open wide up for an easy touchdown. So score is tied, 10-10. to 10. Um, All I need to do is get a stop. This guy starts running uh, strong close against me. So i got to play the middle of the field right here. Don't see any crossers. Uh, my defender did not come down and play that uh, that little wheel route by the running back. So he's able to go and get a nice little first down right there. So once again, uh, go ahead and switch up my, my defenders. Still playing cover six, trying to take away that read. He throws right to my defender, and my defender's out of the way. Like, man, if I had better stick, if I would have actually just scraped a little bit, I probably would have picked off his ball several times. So right there, once again, inside run. That was the only run play that he actually used in a scheme. And third, a second and nine type of situation, he hits me with the dot. Right over the middle, and uh, 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 Prince Akamoka doesn't make a play, and he settles for three points, so I take a big L. But, you know, this comes down to more than anything else. You know, when you take these Ls, it's just bonehead plays that you make in the very beginning of the game. You just can't do the type of stuff. I should have never gave this guy a short field. I, I should have forced him to actually work for it. And you can see takeaways. I, I was winning on takeaways. Uh, this is a game I should have won. But I blew it against this opponent. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I hope you appreciate me showing these gameplays, and more will be rolling out real soon.